Well, good evening and welcome into the Gold Dome as we get you set for some Friday night basketball here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Tonight, it'll be the Centenary Gents playing host to the Texas Lutheran Bulldogs in their first action of the new year. Hope you're having a great holiday, a great new year, and thanks for tuning in tonight. Just a few seconds away from tip-off. You just heard the starting lineup for both teams announced. It'll be Easton Allen and Jalen Bear squaring off. The ball is up and we're underway here in Shreveport. Gents with the early possession. Swings it around right side, the shot, and it's good. Collier sinks to three, and the Gents with an early 3 nothing lead, 30 seconds in. Wallace down to King, swings it back up top. Edwards drives it to the goal and a foul will be called. So Jens will have possession after the offensive call on Edwards. Gents coming into this action tonight with a record of seven and six. They took down Colorado College on New Year's Eve by a six point margin, 77 to 71. They're barely treading above the 500 mark. They're looking to put their foot down and get something rolling into the new year. As Thomas drives and goes up and down and that's not gonna work. After the turnover, passed into King. Over to Allen. Back to King. Allen, back to King. For three. And not good, and that'll trickle out of bounds. Bulldogs will keep possession of the ball. Go, 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 
Bulldogs just 3 and 11. They beat Dallas last Saturday. Collier down the left. Thomas fakes and then drives. Swung up to Bear. He lets that one go and it's off. Ball's kept in, but the Bulldogs will gain possession. A lot of commotion there and the ball eventually be turned over. Collier tagged for the foul. First foul for the gents tonight. Passed into Wallace. He'll set up. Pass to Tapkin. Over to King. Looking. Back to King. Tapkin over to Allen under the goal and another foul. Gents with their second foul in a minute. That one assessed to Greenleaf and Easton Allen will take a pair of free throws. First one is good and TLU is on the board. Drains both of them and it's three to two. Couple minutes into this one. Gents taking it down the court. Thomas assessing. And another foul. That'll be tagged on Edwards. And DJ Arden into the game as you just heard. Gents pass it in. Thomas from deep. Looking. Will shoot and slam dunk from Jacoby Greenleaf on the rebound. And Thomas gets in the way of that one. Tapkin looking around, the pass to King. Drives down the middle and another foul gonna be called. Second foul on Collier and Chris Dorsey's gonna call a sub for him. Tyron Powell now in the game. Bulldogs pass it in. The shot is going to be off the mark. That was King with the shot. Now the Gents have possession. Thomas taking it down. Passes to Bear. He looks around. Back to Thomas. Drives in. A shot. At the last second, a pass. And Jalen Bear sinks it from under the net. Bulldogs looking around, Wallace, and a shot from Arda, and it's going to be off the mark. Bulldogs rebound, but then turn it over to the Gents. Powell, spin move, and a layup in a beauty. That'll prompt out a, a timeout from TLU. Not the biggest crowd tonight on a Friday night with many students still on their holiday break, but that one got the crowd up and rocking. 92 gents at the first time out.
Back here from the Gold Dome, Jens lead 9-2. About three and a half minutes into this one. Wallace over to King. He'll take it down himself and a pass back to Dunn. Let's it go and no good. Thomas on the rebound. Down to Powell and back over to Bear for three, no good. And the rebound is going to go the way of the Bulldogs. Deep shot from King, and it's good, nine to five. Powell driving to the net. And a nice tip in there from Greenleaf. Gents with a sub at the ready. At the next break in action. Harris looking around. Over to King. Back to Phillips. Xavier Phillips. And that'll go out of bounds. Hey, Tykeem Singleton sees his first action tonight as a substitution for Bear. Powell looking around to pass to Greenleaf. And Chris Dorsey not thrilled with that, as you probably can hear. Foul is going to be called on Thomas. Fourth foul for the Gents. King looking around. He'll pass to Arden. Lewis looking around. Back to Arden. Swings it up to King who lets it lip for three. And it's good. Gents looking for some fast action here. Greenleaf, sharp pass to Thomas, who lets it go. No good, and Bulldogs have possession. Phillips driving, and he'll lose possession at the last second, but a foul is going to be called. First foul called on Kyron Powell. Gents with five fouls here in the first half. Jalen Bear back in as Greenleaf will take a seat. Bulldogs with possession. Pass comes in to King. He looks around. Over to Dunn. Back to King. Shot's no good, Rick King rebounds his own shot. Back to the top for Phillips, he lets it go. And it's all knotted up at 11. Jones once had a commanding lead in this game and it's evaporated with just under 13 and a half to play here in the first half. Shot from Powell off the mark and the Bulldogs bring it down. Phillips with a pass to Dunn. And another foul on the Gents. And Chris Dorsey will call a timeout. All tied up at 11 with a little over 13 to play.
Jordan Dunn steps up to the line with a pair of free throw shots. First one misses with a chance to take the lead. All tied up at 11. Dunn sinks the second one and uh, Texas Lutheran with their first lead of the evening. Collier to Greenleaf, back to Collier. Collier swings it down to Singleton, looking around to Braden Beard who lets it go for three and in and out of the goal and a foul is gonna be assessed. Mason Wallace back into the game for TLU. Foul is called, by the way, on Jordan Dunn. Greenleaf at the top of the key. Over to Collier, who lets it go. And three point shot is good. Gents take the lead 14 to 12. TLU with possession. It's Xavier Phillips. Over to DJ Arden. Dunn swings it around to Phillips. And the two point shot is good. That ties the game at 14. Collier now with the ball. Greenleaf. Passes back to Collier, who's wide open. Just off the mark. Rebounded by Arden. The three pointer. Gonna hang up there for a second and eventually sink. That's Xavier Phillips for three. Collier for the Gents, over to Beard. To Greenleaf. And Dorsey not thrilled with the no call there. He wanted the block and no call was made by the ref and the Gents turn it over and Media timeout. 17 14, Texas Lutheran. Back from the Gold Dome, 17-14, the Bulldogs lead it. Gents with possession. Greenleaf looking around. And briefly lost possession, but the Gents regain. Greenleaf not able to connect with that one, and he turns it over to Mason Wallace. Arduin being pressured. He hands it off to Carter Lewis. And Wallace wide open. No good on the three. And that one pinballs around. Eventually Phillips. And that one lands. Another three-pointer. 
And the Bulldogs create some separation with the Gents. They hold a six point lead and the Collier turns it over. But the Gents get it right back. Beverly. Swings it back to Beard to Collier for three. No good. Phillips hands it off to Lewis. He looks around over to Arden. To Wallace. Dribbles in. Pass to Dunn, and the shot is off the mark. Jens rebound, Singleton. At the top of the key. And a foul is going to be called. <laughs> Number of substitutions being made by both teams. Collier drives to the net, the shot, it's good. Gents trail by four, just past the halfway point in this first period. Wallace over to Phillips. To the net. The shot, no good, rebounded. And taken down by Bear. Over to Beard, long pass across. And Collier lets it rip. And a foul is gonna be called on the Bulldogs. It's gonna be Teddy Tatkin. Gents pass it into Beard. Bear looking around. Back to Beard. Let's it go for three. And rebounded by Easton Allen. Phillips taking it down the court. Passes to Wallace. Finds an open shot. And just off the mark, rebounded by Allen. And another foul on the Gents. Okay. Foul called on Braden Board and Allen's gonna take a pair of free throw shots. His team up by four. Greenleaf subbing in for, it turns out, Seth Thomas. Board was headed off, but Chris Dorsey wanted Thomas to take a breather. Allen with his second of two shots. He drains both of them. And it's a six-point lead for TLU. Collier swings it around in the shot. Let go by Beverly. Off the mark. Gents have been stuck at 16 points for a little while here. Bulldogs with a rebound on their own shot. And that draws the eye of Dorsey and a foul is going to be called. 
Offensive foul called on Xavier Phillips. And we'll have a timeout as we're just under eight minutes left in the first, 22 to 16 Bulldogs. Just under eight minutes to play here in the first. Gents with possession. Collier looking around. He'll pass to Greenleaf. At the top of the key, he hands it off. And Bear rebounds his own shot, puts it up again. No good. And he's going to get called for the foul. Hakeem Singleton back in the game, subbed in for Bear. Teddy Tapkin. Sinks both his free throws. And Bulldogs with an eight point lead. Collier over to Singleton. Long pass to Board over to Collier. He lets it go for three. And that one's good. Collier. Collier drains the three. And blocked. And Beverly pushed out of bounds. Coming up a little lame, he'll try to walk it off. Arden back into the game for the Bulldogs. Quentin Beverly at the line. Makes his first free throw to get the gents at the 20 point mark. His team down by four. Beverly two for two at the line. And the Gents a three-pointer away from tying it. King. Quick pass. Back to King, who swings it around. Pass to Arduin. Looking around, and a turnover. There's Singleton. And... Foul is going to be called. Singleton was going up, and Carter Lewis called for the foul.
Singleton misses free throw and Bulldogs with possession. And shot is good from King. Beverly looking around, pass back to the half court mark. Collier looking around, getting pressured by King to Greenleaf. Going to draw a foul. That's King with another foul for TLU. And Christian Wilkerson will sub in for Singleton. Kobe Greenleaf, the junior out of Houston, at the line for the Gents. Sinks his first free throw and goes two for two. Gents trail by four. Wallace over to King. Just over six minutes left in the first. Down to Wallace, he lets it go. Offensive rebound for Arduin. And traveling called on Arduin. Ball goes all the way into the hallway, just behind the bleachers here at the Gold Dome. Beverly looking around. Takes it down the court, a pass to board. Collier down to Greenleaf. And he'll get a pair of free throws. Greenleaf, good on the second of two shots. Gents down by three. And timeout called by TLU. Twenty-seven, twenty-four. Bulldogs lead it, and on your screen now you can see the season summary for both these teams in this game. King looking around. Uh, pass off to Arduin. Back to Wallace, he lets it go. No good, and rebounded by Greenleaf. Quick pass to Collier, swings it down to Beverly. And no foul called on the play. Rebounded. King to Wallace, back to King. Now 
Wallace passes to Dunn. To King for three. It's good. Jen's trying to claw their way back into this one. They held an early lead, but they find themselves down by four now. Mason Wallace looking around, passes to Arden. Calling for Lewis and that'll be a quick turnover and a shot from Braden Board. Just what the gents needed, they're down by two. Beauty of a shot there by Arden. And there's a there's a block call. The shot on the foul was good. And we'll have immediate timeout. Wilkerson at the line misses. Gents down by two. Bulldogs with possession. Lewis passes to Arduin. Drives in and the shot misses. Rebounded by Seth Thomas. Back into the goal. He shoots and no goal. Wilkerson on the rebound. Collier at the point. Let's it rip. Off the mark. And rebounded by Greenleaf. Jacoby Greenleaf at the line. Shot is good. Gents down by just one. Greenleaf goes two for two, and Centenary has tied the game at 32. As we pass the three minute mark, Lewis. 
And the pass will be intercepted by Wilkerson. He goes up, and a foul is going to be called. Wilkerson's shot is good, and the Gents reclaim the lead. Two teams neck and neck as we approach halftime. And Wilkerson goes two for two. King to Wallace. Over to Phillips. Sharp pass back to King. Phillips for three. No good. Rebounded by Greenleaf. Thomas draws the foul. Blocking the called on King. Seth Thomas at the line, the senior out of Kilgore, Texas. Off on the first of his two free throws. And Thomas unable to connect on either of his free throws. Mason Wallace hands it off to Phillips. And driving to the goal and sinking a shot with Darius King. All tied at 34. Just under two minutes left in the first half. Wilkerson with the shot. The three pointer, good. The shot go, no good. Rebounded by Thomas. Collier, a quick pass to Beverly. Back to Collier, who lets it go for three. Off the front of the rim and rebounded. Bounces around and Thomas winds up with the ball and timeout called by Chris Dorsey.
67 seconds left in the first half. Gents lead by three and they have possession. Thomas driving to the goal and lays that one up beautifully. Phillips looking for someone to pass it to. He does to Ardu and who lets it go. And rebounded by Thomas. Over to Collier. Back to Thomas at the top of the key. Looking around, driving to the goal. Up with the shot and back-to-back -back goals by Seth Thomas. Well, Darius King searching. Time winding down, 12 seconds left. Passes to Arden. No good, Jen's gotta be quick. Thomas with the heave. And after the first half, the Jens, 41. Texas Lutheran Bulldogs, 34. Stay tuned for the halftime show here at the Gold Dome and we'll be right back with the second period.
just about to begin the second half of this one. Gents up 41 to 34 over the Bulldogs and take a look at the game summary here as we approach the second half. Gents up, as I said, by seven point margin. Gents shooting at roughly a 42% clip. 10 points better than the Bulldogs. Jensen made a little over a quarter of their three point shots. Bulldogs doing much better at about 40% from the three point line. Both teams with about the same amount of fouls too. Gents with eight and the Bulldogs with seven. And it's the Gents who will have possession as we open the second half. Thanks for spending some of your Friday evening with us here at the Gold Dome. Seth Thomas passes it in to Craig Collier and we're underway. Thomas searching, he'll go up. No foul called and a turnover. Mason Wallace. Three-pointer, no good, rebounded by Greenleaf. Pass to Collier, swings it down to Beverly. A layup, no good. And a foul, offensive foul called on Seth Thomas. Well, Darius King. Looking for an open man. He passes to Allen, who swings it down to Edwards. Back to Edwards. He goes up and drains it. First goal of the second half belongs to Texas Lutheran. Beverly back to Thomas. Over to Collier. And picked off. And a slam dunk. Samaj Edwards. Greenleaf goes up and drains that one. Jens with a five point lead. King taking it down court. Assessing the situation. Passes to Wallace, back to King. Over to Allen. King. And another goal for Edwards. The hot hand here in the second half. Thomas goes up. No foul called, and well, now it is. Late foul call by the ref. And it's Easton Allen who's going to get tagged for the foul, and that'll allow the gents, number two, Seth Thomas, to take a pair of free throws. First shot from Thomas lands. And Thomas makes both of his shots. Once again, Edwards has made each of the last three Bulldogs goals. Seth Thomas. Looking around. Takes it to the goal, goes up. Tries to get a foul. No dice. As the Bulldogs aren't gonna get that one. Beverly with an excellent block. And a timeout will be called.
Bulldogs with possession. And finally, too much time. Wallace unable to pass it in. So that will result in a turnover. Jens Ball. And that one's passed in quickly. Singleton looking around. Board wide open. He passes to Greenleaf, who turns and swings it around back to Singleton. Goes up for the layup, draws the foul, and sinks the shot. Just how the gents drew it up. shot for Singleton and we'll pick up all three points on that play 48-42 gents lead it but Arius King looking around in three-point range no good rebounded by board to Singleton looking to pass Turns out to not pass it, in and out of the goal. And foul's gonna be called on the Gents. Greenleaf gonna be tagged for his second foul of the game. Chris Dorsey, Gents head coach, trying to get an explanation. Bulldogs with the ball. It's King who passes to Allen. Back to King at the top of the key. Swings back into three-point range. And just off the mark, rebounded by Board. And the gents are going to turn it over here. Finally, foul is going to be called. Singleton gets the foul called, and media timeout here. Gents with a six point lead. Smaj Edwards at the line. First shot is good. Edwards drains both of his shots and certainly he's been the MVP for the Bulldogs here in the second half. Greenleaf over to board. Down low to Wilkerson for three. Gents over the 50 point threshold now. 51 44 through the first four and a half of the second half. 
Xavier Phillips for the Bulldogs, searching over to Dunn. Back to King. Steps back and passes it off to Phillips. Shot clock winding down. And he goes up for the shot. A foul is going to be called. Once again on Tykeem Singleton. Xavier Phillips heads to the line. A pair of free throws coming his way. Yeah. Off on the second shot, rebounded by Greenleaf. And Kyron Powell trying to break out of the pressure Texas Lutheran was applying. And Seth Thomas back in the game for the Gents. He'll sub in for Jacoby Greenleaf. Fresh into the game, Thomas passes into board. Back to Thomas. Looks around. Back to board. Hands it off to Wilkerson. Dribbles it in. Uh, pass that goes off the hand of Powell. He was calling for the refs to look at that and think that he thought it was off of a Bulldogs player, but didn't get the call. And the Bulldogs will have possession. Ladarius King over to Samaj Edwards. He dribbles it in hard to the net. And Board comes up with the rebound. Quick handoff to Powell. Seth Thomas hands it off to Singleton. Back to Thomas. Board for three. In and out of the goal. Rebounded by King. Up for two. Offensive rebound and a turnover. Another foul on Tykeem Singleton. And Craig Collier going to sub in for the Gents. You would imagine it'd be for... Six-point lead for the Gents. King over to Allen. He dribbles in, lets it up. No goal. And Gents finally come down with the rebound. Tykeem Singleton. Up with the shot. And a beauty it was. Deep three-point shot for King was off the mark. Rebounded by Collier. Goes up for two, and it'll land. Gents on a roll. They lead by 10. And the Bulldogs try to get something going again. Pump fake and picked off by Board. Singleton. Slowly down the court. Loses possession for a second. Reclaimed by Singleton. Down to Collier. And going to be a turnover. Mason Wallace 
back in the game for the Bulldogs. Mason Wallace to Dunn, to Edwards, hands it off, and you can hear screams from the Gents bench for travel. No travel was called, but the Gents will gain possession regardless. Board to Collier. Back to Board. Takes the three-point shot off the mark. And the Bulldogs with the rebound. Wallace. Edwards goes up, off point. Thomas with the rebound, quick pass to Collier, back to Thomas. He draws the foul. Chris Dorsey calling for a review. Refs will talk it over. And we'll have a media timeout. Jens up by 10. Well, the refs did come over here and were able to review the play. And Chris Dorsey getting an explanation. The refs not changing their call after the review. Dorsey wanted a flagrant call and regardless, Seth Thomas at the line for two. Nothing but net on the first one. Gents maintain an 11 point lead with a little over 11 minutes left in the game. Thomas unable to connect on shot number two and Bulldogs gain possession on the rebound. Phillips searching for an open man. It's Mason Wallace who gets the ball. Back to Edwards, over, now to Lewis. Swings it back to Phillips. Down low to Edwards, drives to the goal, and blocked. Rebounded by Singleton, pinballs around. And it's Greenleaf who gets it over to Thomas. To the goal, he goes up, good for two. Jensen with the momentum on their side. 
A 13-point lead for Centenary. Phillips looking around. To Edwards, back to Phillips. Let's it go for three. It's good. And the Bulldogs close the gap a little bit. Back to a 10-point lead. Collier down to Greenleaf. To Hall. He goes up. And foul is going to be called as Greenleaf attempted to put it in. And Dunn is going to be called for the foul. Shots for Greenleaf at the line. First one, nothing but net. Teddy Tapkin back in the game for TLU. And the 60th point for the Gents tonight comes by way of Jacoby Greenleaf's second free throw. Three-point shot up for Wallace, no good. And rebounded finally by Greenleaf, gets it over to Thomas. Passes over to Collier, goes up for the shot, it's good. Collier drains the three-pointer and now. Bulldogs running out of time here. Under 10 minutes, and down by 15. Up to Phillips. Block shot, Thomas. Quick pass down to Collier. He goes up, and it's good. A.J. Hall. Xavier Phillips passes it down to Tapkin. Long pass across to Wallace. He goes up. No goal. Rebounded by Greenleaf. Now Collier driving hard to the goal. He goes up. A spectacular move. Timeout called. And the Gents have everything going their way. They're up by 19. Nine minutes on the dot left on this Friday night SCAC matchup, NCAA basketball. Gents lead by 19. Tough hill to climb for the Bulldogs who turn it over to Singleton. 
Last second pass to Hall. And the shot is good. Well, Darius King. Pass to Edwards. Looks over to Allen, but hangs on to the ball. Now to Allen, who drives to the goal, goes up, no goal. A swift pass to Singleton. And the shot is good. Foul is called, but on whom? A blocking call on the Bulldogs. Carter Lewis returns to the court for Texas Lutheran. Phillips coming up lame a little bit. He'll limp over to the bench. And Tykeem Singleton looking for a third point. Just off the mark. Bulldogs on the rebound. King takes it down. Back to Edwards, who lets it rip from three. No good, rebounded by Tapkin. Lock him up, Jacoby, lock him up. King. Gonna drive hard, and a foul's gonna be called on the gents, Jacoby Greenlee, walking. And immediate timeout. Sense with a healthy lead, 71 to 48, with just under eight left to play. Bulldogs with a quick turnover. Seth Thomas swipes it right out of the hands of Edwards. A pass to Greenleaf down into the corner for Collier for three. It's good. King at the top of the key, off the mark, and trickles out of bounds. Bulldogs will maintain possession. Tapkin for three, it's good. Collier with a pass back to Thomas. Collier, searching. Wilkerson back to Collier, a deep three-point shot off the mark. Rebounded by King. Pass to Tapkin, to the goal. And back-to-back -back shots are good for Teddy Tapkin. Jensen lead is trimmed to 21. 
Seth Thomas takes it down to a wide open Collier. Takes his time, drains the three. Mason Wallace for the Bulldogs, looking for a man. It's Teddy Tapkin. A smooth pass to Carter. He sinks his shot and with the foul, he'll have a shot to pick up another point on the free throw. the third point attempt. And Thomas will take it down court for the Gents. To Greenleaf. Back to Thomas, swings it down to Wilkerson for three. And it gets wedged up against the rim and the backboard. So the Bulldogs will get possession. Just over six minutes left to play tonight. King to Tapkin. A layup, no good. And rebounded by Juarez, who goes up and We'll pick up a couple of free throws on the foul. takes his second shot, it's good. And he had the ball to start. Gerald Mirage in the game for the Gents. Thomas to Mirage. Looking around. Pressured by TLU. Finds an open man, it's Singleton. Looks around, Thomas is open. Back to Singleton for three. Rebounded by Singleton. And a pass down to Wilkerson, and it's good. In and out of the goal, rebounded by Thomas. Singleton. Back to Thomas. To Wilkerson. To Mirage. Back to Singleton, passes to Thomas, drives it to the goal, quick pass to an open Wilkerson for three, but no good. And the foul is gonna be assessed to Mirage. Darius King at the line. X plus X. And King, two for two at the line. Thomas to Mirage. 
Swings it to Wilkerson. Thomas. Over to Jackson. Down to Mirage. Wilkerson for three. Off the mark. Pressured by Thomas. Juarez. Over to Jarrett. Jones misses and rebounded by the Gents. Mirage to Greenleaf. Jackson to the goal. Goes up off the mark. Rebounded by Tapkin. Jarrett swings it down to Juarez from the corner. Three pointer off the mark. Rebounded by Jackson, who gets it over to Seth Thomas. 3.42 left in this one. Gents lead by 21. Quick pass to Greenleaf. To the goal. It's good. And the Gents break 80. King. Burn the Gents defense there. 60th point for Texas Lutheran. Gerald Mirage. With possession, swings it around to Thomas to an open green leaf. Jackson off the mark and rebounded by Mirage to Jackson. No good. Quick pass to Thomas. Takes his time for three. No good. Rebounded by Juarez. King searching. Goes up for a shot of his own for three. No good. Rebounded by Mirage. And there's going to be a foul on that. And timeout called. Gents lead by 21 with just under three to play. Pair of free throw shots forthcoming for Gerald Mirage. Beg your pardon, just, just the one unless he missed it. Now he'll have a second. And Mirage, two for two at the line. Ethan Greenwood to Jones. Over to Jarrett. Wilson searching for a man. It's Jarrett. And foul is going to be called on that one. Didn't look pretty, but he looks to be okay. Walking that one off. Hey, they haven't got, they haven't got that back the whole game. Board will be assessed the foul and Chris Jarrett heads to the line. First shot, no good. Jarrett 
0 for 2 from the line as Wilkerson rebounds for the Gents. To board. Mirage gets the handoff. Down to Jackson for three. In and out, that close. Rebounded by Jarrett. And a long three-pointer off the mark from Jones. Rebounded by the Gents. Jackson swings it over to Mirage. And time called to allow a substitution. Kari Nelson will pass it in to board. Looks around and not sure if that was a pass, but not executed well by the gents and there'll be a turnover. Time winding down, 90 seconds left with a 23 point lead for the gents. Wilson. will prompt a foul, and he'll head to the line for two. Wilson goes over two on the line. And it's Gerald Mirage who takes it down court. Loses control and looks like a foul is going to be called. Chris Jarrett assessed the foul for the Bulldogs. And Mirage who went two for two on the line. His last free throw attempt will shoot and miss his one and only free throw here. Picked off by Jackson and time called by Chris Dorsey, head coach for the Gents. Minute eight left. Mirage passing for the Gents. Long pass to Kobe Harris. Goes up for the shot. No good. Rebounded by the Bulldogs. Colin Polk to Jarrett. Greenwood looking around and in and out of the hands and Backcourt violation called on TLU. Barrage. With the pass. Kobe Harris. Over to Nelson. Mirage for three. No good. Jones for TLU. What's it rip? No good. And Mirage on the rebound. Likely the last possession of the game. Ten seconds left. 
down to Nelson. And time winding down. Crowd getting into it. Mirage just going to let the clock expire. And this one belongs to the Jets. Jets and Bulldogs were neck and neck for most of this game, but late in the second, the Jets ran away with this one. They win by 23 points, 83 to 60, the final. They open 2024 on a positive note with their eighth win of the year. And they'll play next on Sunday at noon. Hope to see you then, but make sure to stay tuned. The Centenary Ladies are coming up in just a few minutes here as they have their matchup against TLU. Hope you stay tuned for that one. But that'll do it for your, the gents as they are victorious. 1-0 in 2024. And just some final totals. Gents, roughly 44% from the line. About 27% for their three-pointers. The Bulldogs. And Craig Collier paced the Gents offensively with 26 points. Jacoby Greenway with 15 of his own and Christian Wilkerson with 12 for the Bulldogs. They were led offensively by Ladarius King with 18 points, trailed by Xavier Phillips with 15 and Sinaj Edwards with 10. Once again, Gents improved to eight and six and the Bulldogs fall to three and 12. Ladies and Bulldogs, coming up next from the Gold Dome, this is Pierre Baida saying so long for now from Shreveport. Gents win 83 to 60 the final. <laughs>